Welcome to Comfort Havoc number two. I'm going to make a three part video on more of my top boss stuff. But that will come after this video. This first video I want to talk about, I want to talk about um, losing your job and stuff because of social media. Alright, so this very well may be career suicide for me, but there's one tinty tiny itty bitty problem. I don't have a career. My acting career has not taken off. I've been at this for 19 years. I've had some of my own movies made and stolen, and they're somewhere floating around there in Alabama. And I keep leaving messages for whoever has them here on the internet to just please send me back my shit. Because all I need to do is put special effects in it, and it's good to go, even though it's 10 years old now. You know, send me back my shit. That's irrelevant right now. What is relevant is that, you know, I think it is um, really foul that you can lose your job because of a post on social media. I think that it's really foul that the people in charge don't have enough of a life that they have to find a tiny loophole or a crack that they probably didn't have in the I'm giving you this job handbook. That if you work for this company, one, you can have a social media account, but here are the things you cannot post. You cannot post nude body shots. If you're in a bikini, it must be a one piece. It must be tasteful. In other words, their policy cans your freedom of speech, your freedom to live your life how you want it. There's a lot of people who have social media accounts where they always popping their kids up and showing all this stuff and all of a sudden you can get fired for this. I have strong stances against that. You know, I mean, if I'm working for Disney, I know I can't walk around with my dork sticking out. That's pretty much a given because 95% of the people who work for Disney are catering to children. I understand that. I'm pretty sure Disney has a policy on that. And I'm pretty sure if I get a job for Disney that I won't be able to post what I want on my Kung Fu Have 2 channel, and it would probably have to be either shut down or go on hiatus. I'm more than willing to do that for an actual paycheck and a contract that's going to get me what I want. After that contract is over, you better believe I will open my channel right back up. But that's something that I'm willing to do. I would do the same with my Facebook and my Instagram, or I would actually tone it down and verifies my opinion. But I would also, before I post anything, let Disney scan it. You know, because I don't want to do something that's going to damage my career, and I don't want to do something that's going to make them decide to up and fire me. Which, one of my top buzz things, I'm going to talk about that in a hot minute or two. But, okay, so this has happened to various actors and stars, and things have come back to bite them in the arse. And since my acting career hasn't taken off, I'm pretty much safe, you know, because I need a career, and I haven't gotten it. And the independent film business is a touch-and-go business, and it has not gone anywhere for me. It's touched me. I love acting. I'm just not getting anywhere, you know. But um, hopefully things will change within the next couple of months. FYI, you know, I'm... Hoping that this works out for me. I'm about to open it and sign it when the lady calls me. And we're going to go from there. Now, that has nothing to do with acting. That has everything to do with my two graphic novels that I have wrote out. So hopefully that will take off for me. And I'll be able to make money doing something else that I like to do. Which is write stories. However, acting is more fun. And acting makes me happy. But every stepping stone that I take is a stepping stone up, not down. So... You know, I'm also not going to climb so high that I'm going to have a really big fall. Because unlike people who get too big for their britches, I know where my bed is butted. If The Walking Dead called me tomorrow and said, hey, we're going to give you a spinoff. It's only going to be streamed. Here's your character. We need you because we need a mixed guy who's part Native American who looks more Native American than black. Boom. I'll take the bloody job. Because that's just the way it is. So in my Top Buzz videos, I'm going to address a few of these incidences. And I wanted to prepare you guys for those three Top Buzz videos. With an intro video about being fired for things we post on social media. And I'm strongly against this. 
I'm strongly against employees deciding, you know, um, something that you wrote four or five years ago when you were a different person because you're not allowed to grow and change and elevate yourself to a new level um, could come back to blow up in your face. I honestly don't support that. I think that if I'm working for you and I'm acting, something that came out before my career took off should have no merit in the person that I am now. It should have no merit in the person or the job that I am performing for you. If we're making an action movie, it's highly likely that everything that I've posted here on YouTube will probably come back to bite me. I don't talk about racism in a, other than to inform people. I don't make racist statements about other people. I have made videos and I specifically say what I'm going to say before I say it so that you know if it's going to be a racist statement, I'll let you know this is a racist statement. You know, it's not how I personally feel about certain people. It's just a fracking racist statement. However, I also state in all my videos, y'all know me, I am black, I am Cherokee, and I am white, and I do not have the right to be a racist because I am all three of the primary American races. Now, I often give uh, history lessons, and I often say things that are 99.9 .9 the truth and correct. And I tell you guys all the time, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to um, really compromise who I am. And I don't think the employees, no matter how big the company is, have the right to do that. And a lot of places and a lot of companies, they make you know, look, you can't text about this issue or that issue because it goes against our brand, it goes against our policy. And I'm like, well, what about my First Amendment rights of freedom of speech? The freedom to express who I am, the freedom to express how I feel. So here's the thing. Earlier today, um, there was a racist thing, and I think a racist. Let me explain that before you guys go jumping up and down on the, um, why would you do that? I did that because it's the right thing to do. All right? The racist guy had wrote on the thing, I'm a racist and I'm proud. And then he went into such and such and all this other drama. And the first thing I said was, let me be the first person to tell you, as a man who is mixed with Cherokee, black and white, thank you. Thank you for being honest. I've only met one other person like him in my entire lifetime who was a racist. He literally was a racist and he straight told me to my face, I am a racist. I do not like black people. But because you are mixed and you didn't get a choice in that genetically, and you're part Native American, I'm cool with you, and I'm cool with your bro, because he lives with my son, and their rent ain't never late. So some of the stereotypes that he grew up knowing, he found out was BS. However, that did not change the fact that he was a racist, and he told me. So when I told the racist guy on the little web thing for Top Buzz, I thanked him for being an honest man. See, that way I can get the knife right in the face versus the knife in the back. Because when you don't know a person is racist, but they're your friend, they're just slowly waiting for the opportunity to turn the knife or stab the knife. It's the same thing I tell people about being the bad guy. Um, the bad guys have manners so they can get closer to their target. If my manners are adequate enough to get close enough to you, I just need a shorter knife. That being said, we're going to go right into the next video on that. So thanks for watching. This is Kung Fu Africa number two. Brace yourself. The top buzz three.